morning guys, what's up? Jasper here and welcome back to the vlog. Today we are out in town and because this is town and because this is Sunday, a lot of the foreign workers that are working in Singapore have their day off. And as such, you'll be able to see some maids. A lot of people are out in town today, most of which are not Singaporeans. Really odd situation, huh? Small update about what I've been doing this recent amount of time. Yesterday I was out kayaking. To be honest, yesterday was the first time I did kayaking. It was really tough, totally killed my shoulder, but it was really, really fun. Earlier today, I did the DBS Marina Garata Challenge at the insane level, I think. Or was it intense? Either or. Unfortunately, I don't really have footage of that, but it was really, really fun. I also got this scar from it. I got this scar from doing the inclined wall didn't dismount the wall properly at all. It was an inclined wall at about 30 degrees, six feet up. Instead of jumping off as you normally would, like that, I just rotated and slid down it. Not a good idea, boo, boo, bad idea. Today though, let's take a look at packages. Yes, it's an outdoor and unboxing video. And yes, it's a really weird choice, but we are doing it. So it is what it is. Let's first take a look at this package. This package is from Paper Cards. Paper Cards is of course that company that makes physical magazines for cardists around the world and the pricing is really really affordable, really cheap. So shout out to them, shout out to Paper Cards. I really love the work that you guys are doing. Let's take a look at what this issue, I think this is issue number three, contains. Open it up. Oh shit! Oh shit, oh shit. In the package that they sent to me, they gave me two more stickers. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for sending over the stickers so much. But I think I have enough of you guys' stickers. So unless you guys have a new set of stickers, um, it's okay. You can save the stickers for yourself and for other of your clients. Uh, I, I have, I totally have enough stickers. Oh wow. Oh wow. Before I show the guys what's inside, let me first take a quick look. Alright, so as per the last book, Paper Cards is filled with really awesome cardistry related photography. Like, look at that! Wow! The book is really filled with really awesome graphics, really awesome photos. But I want to call your attention to one of these articles called The Blank Deck Project. Really, really interesting. This article talks about how as a cardist we can use blank decks for practice, for growth, for, for trying new stuff. Etc. Etc. And one of the and one of the ideas provided is this really really bootleg looking Gucci branded deck of blank cards. <laughs> For those of you guys who are really hype based and really into branded decks, <laughs> man, with all these cardies doing hype based stuff and K-pop stars are finally adopting super luxury brands like Gucci and Burberry and you know all the super luxury brands. We cut is gonna step up and get some Gucci too. We gotta get our Gucci playing cards. Ah, the super duper awesome Scott Black is also featured in this episode, this book, this chapter of the book of the magazine. So if you are interested in high quality content, please go check out the Paper Cards magazine. Super cool stuff. Check it out.
simply for the sake of variety and shots, we shifted to the skate park that is nearby town in skate area. Everyone's skating around, super hype. But we're going to check out the new cards that got sent over from Out of Play. I'm not sure who sent this package, but hopefully it's Maddie. Maddie, is it you? Please, let it be Maddie. As per usual, with all Out of Play packages, there's the packing slip, not important. Far more importantly, there is this other package. It's not Maddie again! No! It's not Maddie again. Well, instead of getting Maddie's Silent Leaves playing cards, what I did get is the Green Bike playing cards by Out of Play. Um, or at least I think that's what it's called. Let's open one and check it out. This is what the box of the playing cards look like. Dark brown on light brown on this very matte feeling. Quality tuck case. The tuck seal over here is a beautiful emerald green. Very nice. Take the cards out. Boom, 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 boom. Whoa, these cards are stiffer than I expected. These cards feel very interesting. Before we talk about how the cards feel, let's first take a look at the ad card number one. On one side it says outofplay.com. On the other side it says dkngstudios.com. Ad cards for the two brands. And then on the other ad card is this uh, build your own card kind of concept. Basically, if you lost the card, circle what this card is worth and then add it back into the deck. Cool! The deck also comes with two jokers like these. Pretty cool. I'm quite surprised by how the cards feel because even though this is definitely crushed stock, like look at that, look at the thinness of that deck. The cards are actually pretty sturdy. I'm, I'm very pleasantly surprised. Do the cards fan? Yes, they do. Of course they do. They are from USPCC. Obviously, they're gonna fan. Uh, let's take a look at what the Ace of Spades looks like. Boom, boom. Two of Spades. Pretty cool. Three. Four custom pips and custom pip placement. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack of spades. This is what Jack of spades looks like. Cool. Queen. Two, king. Oh, the diamonds are not red but green instead. Interesting. Okay, pretty cool. Particularly the card cards. I really like how they look so creepy looking like. Right? Right, the card cards. The green on these cards are very comfortable, elegant looking green. I really like that. Especially compared against the previous red version. I wasn't feeling the red version. I didn't think the red version feels very good. But the green one, mm, this looks good. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Whoa, look at that green. Unfortunately, the green bikes by DKNG Studios aren't really a cardistry deck of playing cards. They aren't designed to make cardistry look better or accentuated or, or, or to take advantage of cardistry techniques to make beautiful displays. So while I can say that the design looks good on its own like this, I can't really say that they make cardistry look better than it already does. You can take a look at how cardistry looks like with this deck of cards. Like, whoa! Very nice spring, whoa! Very nice slicing waterfall, whoa! Look at that smear fan, ooh, very nice. But the cards themselves don't affect the way the cardistry looks. So in terms of whether this deck is a cardistry deck of playing cards, or a collector's deck of playing cards, or magic deck of playing cards, I would lean towards it being more of a collector's deck of playing cards, or maybe even a magician's deck of playing cards, than a cardist deck of playing cards. Pretty cool! But the cards feel really interesting though. While the old crushed stock bicycle playing cards feel feel like after a short amount of use they start to feel a bit clumpy and a bit they start growing thicker, noticeably thicker. This deck seems to be holding up quite well despite it being in the heat of the midday sun and me holding it and being very sweaty. USPCC seems to be stepping up their crushed stock game and I, for one, am really excited about it. Alright guys, that's all for today. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully we have a vlog tomorrow. I don't know if we're gonna have a vlog tomorrow, but hopefully we have. And if we do, I hope to see you guys tomorrow.